Wow, 500 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I'm very thankful that I've been able to get this far. All the way from 7th Stan user to Pokemon Prism to general Pokemon videos and now Fire Emblem. It's been a hell of a journey, let me tell you. I'm gonna talk about some of my projects that I have coming up and once again about the future of this channel. First, this Fampy here was RNG'd for Pokespot. You can see that it is shiny relative to my game here in Gale of Darkness. It is flawless, of course. And in a new twist, I was able to RNG the actual level of the Pokemon on top of everything else. It is worth noting that 10 is the highest possible level for a different OT Pokemon to obey you without any badges or Kahuna stamps. And I plan to use this Pokemon in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. It's a very, very interesting plot twist because this Fampy originates from an oasis in the middle of the desert here in Ore. As you can see, it is the oasis poke spot, and it's gonna go right to Alola. I'll have it learn some move tutor moves, such as Seed Bomb and Knock Off. And I'll also give it Body Slam while I'm at it, just because. And it will be a very interesting run. Very, very interesting. I can't wait to show you guys that run. I'll be streaming it, and I'll also take the stream footage to make highlights, such as, oh, this is a champion fight, or, oh, hey, this is the Elite Four matches. That kind of thing is what I've been doing for Echoes and I can see it's working well, so I would like to keep that up. I would like to cover the following games over this year, in addition to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Fire Emblem Warriors is a maybe. I don't know if I'll like it honestly, but I'm interested in trying it out at least. Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey, the remake. I love SMT and Megami Tensei. I recently beat Persona 5 and it's too bad. I was hoping to record stuff for it, but I don't have an El Gato. So I was unable to film it, but I had a lot of fun playing that. Let's see. I'll be doing videos on that. I don't know if I'll be streaming everything, but I'll definitely have some sort of coverage for everything I just listed. Uh, of course, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon will be my focus. The JoJo fan game, 7th Stan User 2, is in the works right now, and there is no set date for it to come out, but I'm hoping it'll come out this year. I did a bunch of videos on that, probably more than anyone else on YouTube, really, and I would love to make videos on that again, since those were my beginnings as a YouTuber, if you will. Now, moving on to other things I'm working on. My secret Fire Emblem project is still in the works. I'm gonna remain cryptic on that and just say it has something to do with Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem and something I already do in Game Boy Advance Pokemon games on my channel. I'm not gonna be able to say anything until I have the loose ends on that fixed. Furthermore, there are some things that I have left unfinished, such as PWT, which includes Type Expert. I have team built 12 teams with the help of a few people for all 12 types, and I will be tackling PWT again. And some of the VGC downloadable tournaments as well. I have been working on VGC 2012 teams, of all things. That would be uh, really, really interesting to try out, too. As for the overall future of this channel, I realized that I have two big assets that set me apart from most people that do videos, 
and one major flaw that I have been working on. My strong suits are that I understand game hacking, especially RNG manipulation, extremely well. I've spent a lot of time helping research the games, talking to people about it, uh, making contributions, uh, basically helping exchange knowledge about that. So that gives me a unique perspective as a player who understands the basics of tool assist, speedrun, and super play. You can see, for example, in my quad shiny video that pays off or my Safari Zone math. I also have a very deep understanding of video game lore. If you look back at Fire Emblem and Megami Tensei as a whole, both games have absolutely intricate timelines and mythological references, ranging all the way from the web of parallel universes in Megami Tensei and the novelization that involves Akemi Nakajima and how it connects to Shin Megami Tensei, which connects to Persona, and the retconned thief who founded Arcanea in Fire Emblem. Uh, I really enjoy these topics, and I do a lot of binge reading on wikis and Google and all that stuff. I would like to make videos describing some of this esoterical knowledge and make it more accessible to the public because I believe there is room for teaching people about this stuff and honestly I love talking about it this is just scratching the surface and of course if you bring game hacking with lore knowledge and once I improve my video editing skills I believe my channel will have a higher production value, and that is something I strive to work towards as time goes on. I will be putting a lot of effort into that. I am thinking about stuff like podcasting as well, but I'm not going to make any promises or give any timelines for that specifically, because as you can see, I already have quite a few other projects that I'm working on. And I do not want to give a deadline that may not be met. I will be working at my own pace like I always have. Sometimes I have a lot of content coming out every single day. At other times I may have like a week without too much. And I'm trying to find a balance between all and nothing. And I am working on that. I definitely am. There's also the fact that I'll, I will be starting grad school very soon, so I will not have as much time for making content. And that is something that honestly will decrease the speed at which I can produce content. Uh, as an example, again, I don't know if I'll be able to stream Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon the very same day it comes out. I will surely try but it may have to be done during Thanksgiving break, as an example. And yeah, that is the basics of what I wanted to go over. I would also like to give a very special thank you to someone who has been helping me out, who actually invented part of the Pokespot RNG alongside Capphotics, who has been personal friend of mine, and I will be naming this Fampy after him, Zari, you have been massive help, so thank you very much for not only making this kind of RNG possible, but also helping me out, uh, giving me some tips, helping me brainstorm even this very same video here, and so on. And once again, I will always be open to feedback, feel free to hit me up at any time, on Twitter, Reddit, Discord, whatever. I would like to hear from those who watch my content so I can improve because there's only so much I can do by myself. And if you have some advice, especially on the podcasting side of things, I would really appreciate it. I will be purchasing a nicer microphone using some of the money I got from YouTube ad revenue, by the way. 
So hopefully this is one of the last few times you hear my voice while I use this specific microphone. But yeah, thank you very much.